Hi guys, welcome back. This week we're going to work on insulating the RV and insulating the shed so that we're ready for the winter weather. As things started to get a little chillier this week, especially overnight, and we started to see some of the leaves change colors, we knew we needed to get on it. Okay, so we are going to get started with wrapping the bottom of the RV with tarps to stop the wind from flowing freely underneath. And that should help just create a little better insulation underneath and help prevent the pipes from freezing. As you can see, we've cleared everything out from underneath. And I'm going to give you a shot here of everything that was underneath. So we're going to make this dual purpose or multi-purpose. So not only are we going to do the tarping around for the winterization, um, but we're also going to be organizing all of the things that we've been shoving under there into new bins, get them labeled, put away things that we won't need until next summer up in our lofts in our shed, and just kind of do an all around cleaning, organizing, while also insulating. We picked up these poles, they're four, four foot poles from Tractor Supply. Um, they're like a plastic with a metal on the bottom. They're about $2 each. And we're gonna put them, we've started already. Let me show you the first one. But well, we're gonna put them every 10 or 12 feet or so around the RV, just like this, where the metal goes into the ground and we get it nice and secure. And then we're going to attach the tarps to them and go all the way around. Right, guys so I have to say this turned out so much better than I expected that it would um, I don't know about you guys but I absolutely love it so what we did was we bought the heavy-duty tarps that have black on one side and silver on the other but they're the really thick ones so what we did is I bought two 10 by 12 tarps and I cut them to the lengths that I needed because I needed less than three feet from the ground to the bottom of the camper in any given spot. So what I did was I basically cut it into strips and then we attached it with the posts 
and we use twine to attach it. That's just what I had on hand. I'm sure there's better options, but that worked out fine with us. And then we just used black electrical tape uh, to kind of hide the twine and make it look a little better. And yeah, and then we used some Gorilla Glue clear like flex seal kind of tape it's waterproof we had it on hand anyway but factoring in the cost of all of the materials this was a diy to skirt the bottom of our our fifth wheel camper for less than 75 dollars so when we went online looking we were looking at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for the canvas skirts that go on the bottom of these and we just thought that's just crazy to put that much money out so again, less than $75 for this DIY skirting to go on the bottom of our camper. And then what we did along the bottom is we left a, an extra like four or five inches and then skirted it out and put the gravel shale back on top of that to weight it down on the bottom to pull it tight. So it's very tight. It's, it's on there really well, waterproof. Uh, tape holding it up along the top and you know we also fold it over the tops as well to kind of just give it a nice crisp clean look but we are we're super happy with this guys let us know what you think or what other ideas you guys have done you know when we first started out on this plan we weren't necessarily expecting to be in the camper by the time the really really cold hits we were hoping to have a house built and put on our property by then. So, you know, we have to adjust as we go since that's going to take a little longer to do. Um, you know, we have to do these kinds of things to make sure that we're comfortable living here throughout the winter. I hope you guys will agree, but I am very happy with the way that it turned out here today. Do you guys remember that terrible pile of junk that we had? Well, I just want to show you what we did with it. So we just organized everything into bins. And they're all clear bins, so we can easily see what's in each. And we categorized them to make it a little bit easier as well. But everything here is under our bump out, where the dining and, and living room areas are. But so everything's protected from the rain and, you know, any other precipitation. But as you can see, the rest of the skirting, it goes right behind that. But we had to take special consideration to make sure we could still get to the pools for the black and gray water. So we took care of all of that as well. But here is all of the organization for our RV. <laughs> Along with fall comes stink bug season. Oh my gosh. Must have killed about 50 already. At least. The girls ate them. So Eric let the chickens out. <laughs> and as he grabs and gets the stink bugs, he's throwing them to the girls. Here you go. Stinky bugs. This is what happens when mommy and daddy decide to go off for a few minutes to do some projects.
Who's silly? <laughs> so who are you supposed to be? When you said raccoon, are I'm a raccoon. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Are you turning into a smurf? Or a troll? I think a smurf. So we took a walk today and we challenged ourselves to walk all the way to the lake and we made it. We're so proud of ourselves. It's quite a bit of a hike for us. Now we'll have to go back. So we'll rest a little, play a little, and then go back again. <laughs>